Greetings and salutations, everybody. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing the Destiny 2 Lightfall Collector's Edition. Just came in the mail today. In case you guys are curious as to see exactly what's inside of it, what it looks like, how big is everything in the box. That's what we're going to be doing in today's video. So um, let's just uh, get into this. So here's a look at the box in its entirety. It's a very nice looking box. Here is the back of it, all the sides. On the back of it, it says the arrival of the witness is imminent to prepare for this inevitable battle. The Vanguard shares Empress Keitel's insights into Kalsis psyche with you. Study Ikora's notes about Osiris's vision of hope on Neptune and discover the possible link with the Exo Stranger's mysterious Puka Halku. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the fish thing that everybody wants in game. Two thousand years later. Looking very, looking very good. What is this? So it looks like right here we have a letter from Zavala talking about Osiris and Eris. He says that Eris believes that the Exo Stranger's pet may have come from Neptune. Documentation regarding this creature therefore may bear relevance. He finally goes on to say that records from Empress's Keitel provide insight into Kallus' psyche. Perhaps a weakness can be found and exploited. Signed right there at the bottom by Zavala. Looks like there's something sticking out the bottom here. Looks like it is a sticker. Got a Kallus in the background and then that little uh, symbol looks pretty cool. Open this bad boy up. Oh, it looks like something fell. Some nice artwork there in the inside of the sleeve. And it looks like we have a card here that was on the inside of the box. Looks like just uh, the city on Niamuna. Might I say, um, very, very nice artwork. I like the like cyberpunk city kind of looking thing. Looks really cool. And we also have another card here that it came with. All right, so back to this. It looks like we have some sort of like book or journal right here. Let's take it out the box. So like I said, it does look like a book and or journal. Some writing right there on the spine. Symbols on the back. We do have a, a tree here. I don't know if we've seen this tree here in game or anything, what relevance this tree has, but uh, probably means something. Oh, oh, it looks like we have multiple, multiple little things here. So the first one, we have a symbol like that. I don't remember seeing this symbol in game, but if you've seen this in game, let me know down in the comments. And on the back, we have that tree again. Oh, I didn't really notice. Okay, so right there, you can actually see that's the Exo Stranger behind here. And on the back, this says Vanguard Files, Archives, and Records 3-FCN. So it's a, a little booklet that we got here. And just skimming through this, this looks like some dialogue between a... Uh, the Exo Stranger and her little ghost fish. No doubts, some secrets to be uncovered in these books. The second book over here is uh, Purple. Our Vanguard Files, Archives and Records 2-37T. Can't make out if there's a face on the front here, but there's a chalice up here. So maybe this is a Callus's book. Okay, so this is very strange. The first words up here says that I am three my father is pregnant again. Father? Wait a minute. How, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that. Like you didn't just say what you just said. Yeah, so uh, quickly reading through some of this dialogue here. This is definitely a the Cabal book right here. There's a quote up top here in the Cabal book that says, I'm exactly that old when I realize that my father, the Emperor Callus, is full of sh <laughs> it's literally what it says right there. And then the uh, third and final book looks to be an Osiris one, Vanguard Files, Archives and Records 1 YAA. And it looks like this is a full detailed report of a debriefing that they get from Osiris, a conversation between Ikora and Osiris. Ikora asks Osiris, you haven't said much about what it is, only that you remember a little. I want to start from the last place we saw you before you were kidnapped and establish the full chain of events. There was some fuzziness about when you were last you. And Osiris says, hmm. He says, I was on Luna, the moon, the place that I lost. And Ikora chimes in, Sagira. 
very mysterious, very, very sad losing Sagira. So that's it for the three books. We got one uh, focusing on the Exo Stranger, one focusing on uh, Keitel and the Cabal, and this one focusing on Osiris and his debrief about what happened when Savathun took him. Now getting back to the box, let's uh, take this styrofoam out. And, oh, and my goodness, there is a shiny, shiny thing in here. The ever popular ghost fish. That definitely looks cool. Very, very colorful, just like everything looks in the Lightfall artwork. There's the face of the fish. Oh, and there's some more more shiny wings in here. One of the wings for the Puka. I think it's called Puka. P-O-U-K-A. The way it's spelled. Two wings in here. Got some more styrofoam in here. I think there's just like the little stand that comes with it. Little arm that it goes on. Then we have the uh, base. It's kind of kind of heavy. And then we also have a power cord right here. And then in the very back, looks like we just have some uh, instructions to set this little statue up. Let's go ahead and put this thing together. These just snap into place very easily. That is already looking really cool. Ooh, ah. It looks like you just kind of place it on the stand there. We should probably put the base on first. Just snaps in like that. And then you just place place the little fishy on the stand. Let's uh, plug this bad boy in, see what it looks like. Ah, that advanced GG hits different. Okay, so I got this all plugged in. Let's uh, Let's turn off the lights. So you plug the wire in the bottom and then there's a button on the top side and the face glows up. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's two different settings. If you just turn it, if you press the power button once, it just turns on. But if you press the power button twice, it actually will get brighter and the and it'll get brighter and dimmer periodically like the fish is breathing. That's actually pretty cool. I, that, I like that. That is a pretty cool little ghost fish there, guys. Here is the fish once again with the light on. And you can actually take it off the wire. So it looks like all you got to do is leave this plugged in for a little bit and it'll charge up. And then you don't have to be encumbered by the wire. You can just have it out on your shelf and turn the light on and off with this button right here. So Guardians, that was everything that was inside the box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, subscribe to the channel, follow me over on Twitch, and I'll see you in a couple weeks when Lightfall releases.